Good morning. It is Tuesday and everybody in my household wants to cancel the day. So my mom's boyfriend's truck broke down the other day and we were able to get a mobile mechanic out last night and he's like, oh yeah, I figured out the problem. And then he like replaced the part and he's like, never mind, that wasn't the problem. Took the part out and peaced out because there's nothing he could do. It's going to the shop on Thursday, I think. But as a result, we're back down to one vehicle. We were down to one vehicle a while ago and it sucked. And let me tell you, this sucks as well. So, um, we're also all working today and like I start at eight, my mom starts at nine and then her boyfriend works tonight. I think he starts at like 2.30, but he has to do a bunch of running around to like try to get the camper off of his truck so it's easier for them to work on. And yeah, so that's great. Anyways, I am, I'm exhausted too. Like normally because I sleep truck. So like I know what I sleep at night and Normally I get a lot of deep sleep and not enough REM sleep. Last night I got like no sleep, but like all the REM sleep and uh, my body just doesn't know what to do. It's just, it's so tired. <laughs> it was like, what happened? Also, I had like such weird dreams. I haven't even watched Bondi Beach Rescue for like weeks now. And I had a dream that I was in Bondi, I think. I don't know. The details were sketchy because I was in an ocean and then I was also in a pool, but then also in, anyways, there were these two people that were going under and I like, I was like going out to get them and I like couldn't see them. And finally I see them and it's like, the water is so stupidly clear, like, come on. And I see them as two girls and they're like kissing, but I think they were actually like trying to give each other oxygen and then they sunk to the bottom and the bottom was like, I don't know, 30 feet down or something. I'm like, I can't swim that down that far. I guess they're just dead. <laughs> And then I was like treading water for a bit and then all of a sudden they like come back up and I'm like, oh, okay, I can save them now. So saved them. And then the dream like shifts and then there's like all these bodies in the water. They were like all standing slash floating on the bottom. There was like a plane crash, I think. But again, it was like, there was nothing showing that there was a plane crash. And I think we were in the ocean, but also I think we were in a pool. I don't know, it was weird. So I was, I was helping like lift dead bodies out of the water. It was weird. And by out of the water, I mean from the bottom to the surface. And then I was trying to catch a bus for like a very lengthy period of time in my dreams. So yeah, it was weird. We had lots of dreams. They were weird. I woke up with um, Satisfied from Hamilton stuck in my head. Lately, I have just been waking up every single day with a song stuck in my head, typically Hamilton related. And it's the most annoying thing ever. It's still playing right now. Like, come on. Anyways, I'm at the theater, obviously. <laughs> I've rambled for like three minutes. Cool, 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 cool. The plan is to work for four hours today. Um, that should be enough time for me to get everything done, but also not, I also have enough that I should be able to fill those full four hours and don't have to sew because I don't really feel like sewing uh, seat covers today. Also, I was moving seat covers yesterday and I was like, oh, this person didn't trim their threads like mm. anyways work four hours go home nap <laughs> and then um cut out masks i think that's like if i do those things i'll feel accomplished but i need to stop talking and get my breakfast drink in me and hope it wakes me up a bit because otherwise i'm just gonna pass out hello <laughs> so I'm clearly off work now. I'm at home. I just changed into less clothes. Um, and just before I was leaving work, my boss was like, Latte Tuesday. And I was like, no, like, it's fine. I'm about to walk out the door. I'm good. I was the only person who got Latte Monday yesterday. And he's like, I'm three minutes away. Armload of lattes. I was like, okay, fine, I'll wait. So, hence the hot chocolate. Yum. <laughs> um, and then I was just basically like, okay, thanks, bye. Because <laughs> I had already finished working my shift. And... I had my ride waiting for me because like I said, we're down to one vehicle and so punctuality is key. Anyways, Tuesday sucks. Everybody I talked to today is like Tuesday, the worst. And so now the Tuesday part that sucked for me, I think is gonna be over. Um, but I still have stuff to do, but I don't think it'll be as bad. I think I'm gonna nap. I oh, wasn't going to, but I think I need to because 
I didn't yesterday and yeah, I think it's a necessity. Even if I just lay down for a couple hours, I think that's a key even if I don't sleep. So I'm just gonna finish my hot chocolate, which one, I know chocolate has caffeine in it, so probably not the best thing. And two, it's hot and my room is currently 23.4 degrees. I think it's only, it's only 18 outside, but my room always gets hotter, but that's fine. So I just don't wanna do anything. <laughs> And oh, I got I got this in the mail today. It's um tissue paper Because I realized that I didn't have tissue paper to wrap stuff. I was sending in so I got that it's matching my Scheme my color scheme. I think I don't know gold accents I ordered some thank-you cards with gold accents. So I don't know anyways, I think I'm just gonna finish my drink and then I'm going to probably hydrate a lot because that's a necessity and then probably nap I might drag my switch into my bed with me, so maybe I'll play a bit, but honestly, I'm not feeling it. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna go for now, and I will check in with you, hopefully much more rested in the future. Well, hello. I um, definitely had a nap, and it wasn't the greatest nap, and when I woke up, I just had a massive headache, like massive headache. Um, I think it's because I kinked my neck, because it kind of hurts a little bit, so that's a, that's a me problem for sure. Um, and then, I think I woke up at like three something and I've just been chilling for a bit since. It's 5.25, I just got the shower. My mom's just about to get off work and then we're gonna just order in dinner because neither of us is particularly motivated to feed ourselves. <laughs> um, but I did get a couple things from Amazon today. I showed my paper, um, tissue paper earlier. I also got this, um, it's like a bakery or baking tool so you can like scrape the counter and like chop things you're baking into different size pieces. It's much nicer than using a knife and I tried to find one in town and I couldn't. I didn't look super hard. I checked like two or three different places. Um, so it popped up in my <laughs> recommend it for some reason. I was like yes sold. And then I also got these um, thank you cards that I mentioned for when I do ship things to people so that's exciting. There's 50 of them. I think they will last me for a very long time. Um, cause I haven't officially opened a store yet. I've just been lucky enough to have people I know be like, Hey, can you make me masks? Etc. So that's cool. And then I got this little riser for my laptop. Um, it's something that I've been thinking about getting for a while, mostly because especially when I'm rendering footage, my computer gets really hot and really angry. So I've been like using coasters to prop it up a little bit in the back, but this is nice cause I can make it quite a bit higher. And also cause I've been watching a lot of shows and movies on it lately on this side of my desk. Yes, I, my, my desk and my room is a disaster. Um, it'd be nice to like be able to elevate it a bit more to give myself a bit more workspace on the desk when I am sewing and such. So, so that's cool. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed now, I think. And the plan in the book for today is was supposed to be to sew masks, but I didn't cut them yesterday. So cut masks is what I've changed it to. I wanna find all the stuff for the story I've decided to work on because, you know, it's been a year of me going, oh, I'll work on this one. No, that's not working. It's too close to what's happening in the real world now. And then I'm like, oh, I'll work on this one. I'm like, mm, that's also too close to what's happening in the world right now. So I think I've finally decided on the one I wanna focus on. And I'm thinking like, Maybe if I spend all of October like really planning and getting everything ready to go because like I think I have all the characters planned but I don't think I have the acts planned out. If I spend all of October working on that uh, besides doing other things then maybe I can do NaNoWriMo this year um, which would give me an excuse to at least get 50,000 words so we shall see. So that I think it's I believe it's all just beside me um, here in this absolute trash taster here like it's it's bad. <laughs> so I want to find that. And then I was also supposed to cut some scrunchies, like the Halloween ones and then a couple other ones, but we'll see. And I also need to like wash all my jars for my breakfast drinks. It's, it's bad. So I think what I might actually do today, instead of focusing on any like sewing stuff, I think I might just focus on trying to get my room back in shape. Cause like, I, like it's real bad. Um, getting organized and then maybe I have that ottoman beside my desk. I'm thinking it'd be good to store fabric in. I would just have to take out, I think I've got like some winter toques and scarves in there. So anyways, I think that's the plan for today, but step one is going to be to get dressed after um, my shower here. I'm pretty sufficiently dry and then um, 
figure out what we want to do for dinner and order that and then eat that and then reassess. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am dressed now, except it's mostly in PJs, and we were gonna do white spot for dinner, but they weren't on the app at the time, so they might just be super busy, so Wendy's it is. <laughs> Baconator for my mom, some chicken nuggets for me, and fries, of course, <laughs> but currently, while we're waiting for that to get delivered, I figured I should get rid of some of the ridiculous amount of dishes in my room. These aren't technically dishes because I was using them for um, pens and pencils and stuff. So those aren't really dishes, but I have like five of these. Plus I might have one in my backpack from today. Three of those and two ramekins plus that bowl. There's like also all this stuff that I had out in blind channel that I just need to relocate to the bathroom. So that's what we're gonna start with and I think after dinner I'll take out my garbage and my recycling. I wrote the list and <laughs> the list is just get my room back in order list. So let's do that I suppose, I don't know. Oh, allergies? Alrighty, so I took out my garbage and my recycling which were kind of a big thing and I also got rid of all the jars from up there and I washed them all and then I moved all the toiletry stuff that I had up there either into my little um, thing over there right there or into the bathroom. I'm currently charging my mics um, among other things uh, so if the sound quality kind of sucks so sorry I guess I could have probably got my shotgun mic but I didn't. Um, I still have a headache. <laughs> That's great. I think I just need like a massage because it's like all like neck and shoulder pain I think is what it is mostly. Um, but yeah, I think the next plan here is going to be um, to move my shipping stuff into my bedside table. I think my hope at least is that I can move everything from the bottom up to the top or other places and then I can just keep that all in there including like my heavy duty cardstock paper and my shipping label thing. So that is the plan. Let's hope it works, but we will see. Okay, so I think I've made like some pretty good progress on everything this evening. The only thing I haven't done on my list is make my bed, but honestly I'm going to be climbing into that within the next hour or two, so it's fine. It's currently just after 10, but the like biggest game changer I think was emptying this ottoman. I still have to figure out what to do with um, all this stuff, maybe like get into my closet later, but what I have in here now is current uh, commissioned masked mask projects <laughs> and then the scrunchies that I'm going to work on. So I'm going to try to use this to keep my current work in project stuff in, but also like I might, because that's all, both of those bins up there are full of fabric. And then again, there's like so much fabric over here. I have to wash the fabric on top before I can use it, but still I still like I it's still great progress and like I said everything's done except for making my bed and there's some clothes that are clean on my bed which I need to deal with but that's a tomorrow thing at this point but um, yeah I'm very content with what I managed to do and then tomorrow I should be able to cut out all the masks and at least start sewing them if not completely finish them we'll see how I feel tomorrow but yeah that is the plan. I'm excited. And now I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. I think I want a snack. I just don't know what. Hmm. Alrighty, so it is the end of the night now. I don't have my watch on. Okay, it's like <laughs> 12.30. But in exciting news, I do get to sleep in tomorrow. And I am so jazzed about this. I just hope I can get to sleep pretty quickly. And just sleep like a log. Like, like the dead. Like, I just need to crash. Crash hard. Crash for a long time. And then hopefully tomorrow when I wake up, 
he'll be rejuvenated, refreshed, and just ready to take on the day. I have a massive list that I wrote out for tomorrow, so hopefully I can accomplish it. And step one will be a good night of sleep. So I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> good night.